Since 2006, Kent Percocha has been instrumental in advising customers on maximizing value from their Aptus solutions. His expertise covers domain knowledge and advanced strategies for contract management, quoting, revenue management, renewals, and all aspects of the quote-to-cash process. Kent has over 20 years of enterprise sales experience in the software industry. Kent is recognized as an industry leader in contract lifecycle management and has been a frequent speaker at industry-leading contract management events. Prior to Aptus, Kent held senior sales management roles at contract lifecycle providers iMany and Nextance. Earlier in his career, Kent held marketing and sales management roles at Oracle. Kent has a degree in geography from UC Davis. Welcome, everyone. And thank you for watching this brief presentation. My name is Kent Prococha, and as the SVP of Customer Success and co-founder of Aptis, I've seen a lot of things that have both delighted customers and made uh, some customers not so delighted. Uh, everywhere you turn, it seems like some business guru is talking about delighting customers. But what does that mean to delight customers? Is it having the best trained customer service reps who can smooth over any customer issue? Or is it getting them really excited about a cool new product like an iPhone? or the next coolest thing you can fund on Kickstarter. When it comes to customer delight, it's all that, but much more. We've had the good fortune of working with some customers like Hewlett Packard, PayPal, and McKesson. And when we talk to our customers, they tell us that customer delight is about making the whole customer experience easy and smooth as possible. That means responding faster with every customer touch point, from the time that the initial web interaction to a sales proposal to potential renewal. It means that you're just easy to b do business with and they don't have to jump, jump through multiple hoops to fill out a form or sign a contract. It means you're accurate and have complete understanding of the customer information so you're delivering and invoicing for the right goods. It means you're able to predict the best mix of products and services that they want. That you give customers all the things they need to even delight themselves. One good example that we're finding in the marketplace is self-service portals uh, for customers. But how do you get there? What we've learned from our customers is that, that the key way to really achieve customer delight is to get your entire organization committed. Everyone has focused on looking at their customer-facing employees, sales, service, marketing, and figuring out how they can help delight customers. But usually overlooked are all the groups of, and infrastructure supporting customer-facing departments, things like shipping, IT, finance, and HR. Getting them on board is a real key to having your entire organization to delight customers. So what we're finding is leaders who can really get their entire organization committed to delighting customers can achieve some really significant results, including reducing customer churn by 6%, also reducing customer disputes by 40%, and then also reducing the entire sales cycle by 9%. So let's talk about some real world examples of companies who are taking a more all encompassing view of delighting customers. Let's take, take Salesforce. They're a $5 billion cloud pioneer trying to double to $10 billion. But with many recent acquisitions, it became difficult for their thousands of sales reps to quickly respond to customers. Lots of new products that the sales team needs to learn and sell. Pricing varying across the world meant that going into manual mode, which is helping out the sales rep, was more and more common with their current state of sales systems and processes. So what did Salesforce do for their project delight? They used Aptis CPQ quote to cash solutions with three groups critical to delighting customers. Customers themselves, sales reps who dealt with customers, and the teams that enabled reps, the revenue operations and product team. To delight their customers directly, Salesforce used Aptis e-commerce to create an online web store to make it easy for customers to self-serve themselves. Instead of having to call a sales rep, wait for a reply, and then wait for a quote, customers were given the power to buy products and licenses themselves, making the experience much more streamlined and enjoyable. They can do this 24 by 7. Secondly, uh, they made things super easy for their sales reps to delight their customers. No matter what product or license they were selling, including upgrades, swaps, trial licenses, reps could easily quote anything thanks to Aptis CPQ. This is configure price quote. Integration to the systems they were already using, like Salesforce, of course, as well as the customer's product information found in their contract, uh, ensured that the reps were always quoting the right products and the right prices for that specific customer 
Built-in recommendations also made it easy to upsell and cross-sell products, especially during renewal time. And of course, with the reps, the light just doesn't happen by itself. Sales ops took an all-encompassing view to make sure the entire company is ready to delight customers. There were several things in particular that made their rollout successful. Timely awareness and communication, real-world training, global presence, and full-on full support. For communication, reps were informed about certain aspects of the project at the right time. Salesforce chatter was a key aspect to distribute this information. So as the time came closer to go live, more pointed and more direct instructions were given to the reps. Sales reps were also trained on real world scenarios so that when Project Delight went live, there would be no issues for them when the time was to create new quotes for real deals. Finally, sales ops made sure they were supporting the project throughout the world. Uh, with full-on support desk and help centers in key Salesforce offices. This was done globally in offices like San Francisco, Toronto, New York, Atlanta, London, Paris, and Singapore. So what happened to this broad-based uh, approach to customer delight? First, first of all, Salesforce achieved 100% user adoption. This dramatically increased the number of proposals that they could uh, send to customers, increased automation to over 80%, and increased the size of deals. All this while, customers were able to order their own products by themselves. The entire time from quote to the licenses being provisioned to the customer can be as fast as seven minutes. So success along all the key dimensions for this project. Customers are certainly getting delighted. But customer delight isn't just for large enterprises. It's something that companies of all shapes and sizes can do, especially with the right tools. For example, let's talk about a company called Everstream. They're a big data software company trying to figure out how to make their sales reps more productive, uh, more accurate and responsive so they could spend more time delighting their customers. Since they don't have large sales uh, ops to support them, they needed something that was easy enough for sales ops to do for themselves. So in just a few hours, Everstring implemented Aptis Sprint CPQ, a faster and simpler quoting solution, which allowed reps to create fast, accurate quotes with zero training in support. So no matter what company you're in, what role, how you deal with customers, customer delight is something that you can always have a part in. Thank you very much and good luck in delighting your customers.